I cannot believe that I have the Cardi Wilson. Come on. Sitting here at oh, page stop. six with us. You're this so is, sweet. This is amazing. We've already had so much fun even in the green room. We did. Yeah. We're like, I feel like we're twinsies. Yeah, I know. There's a little kindred spirits here. There's something your, going on. Your humor. I, I we're, mean, we're, we think the same. We do. I know. And speaking of the humor, yeah. we got to talk about the new show oh, that yeah. you are about to come out with. Yeah. All right. Tell us all about this. It is Sounds Delicious, mm -hmm. which looks delicious as yeah. well. Right. Sounds Delicious yes. on Access TV. Yep. Access TV, Sounds Delicious is my new cooking show. I've waited 19 years to do this, but it just came at the right time with the right people. So I'm so freaking grateful to Access because they let me be me. And that's and how it should be. It's, that's right. And it's like the first time I really think that the public is going to see me in my element, which is in the kitchen, cooking with my friends. As they say, when you're cooking for somebody yeah. and you get into their stomach, mm -hmm. for the most part, mm -hmm. that's how they fall in love. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean I'm married 24 years. Why do you think I stay married? Uh, that's the secret to the happy marriage then. He eats. He should be 400 pounds. I don't know what's going on. He actually has a fast metabolism. I hate him. Oh my goodness. It's not fair. I, I don't like him either. <laughs> and I don't even know him, but now I don't like him. But I still love him though. <laughs> I know. He's a great guy, Rob. I have a wonderful husband. So let's talk about some of these celebrities that you have on the show. Yes. Okay, first of all, I know that uh, Mark McGrath. Yeah, we kick off with Mark McGrath Oof. who is from Sugar Ray, who is love. a doll. He's hot. He's a great person. He loves food. Um, and I just said, hey, what do you think about lasagna with mini meatballs? And he's like, I'm in. And it's so funny. I watched the episode last night, you know, the premiere episode, and I, I couldn't fall asleep. I was so excited. <laughs> it's really, really good. I mean, this is the perfect platform for me to just do what I love, which is cook, yes. you know? So um, yeah, the show is, is uh, a combination of what I love the most, which is music and food. So um, I mean, Access TV is all about music, and there's tons of programming all, you know, having to do with music. And they scooped me up and they just said, we want you to do a cooking show for us. And I'm like, this is perfect. That's it's the amazing. perfect pairing. So we do all kinds of, we talk about music, we, we sing. I mean, I had Sean Stockman from Boys to Men uh, and we I sang was... End of the Road together. You did. And it, I, I try to harmonize and sing with each guest. Oh my gosh. So that's like the goal. That's amazing. And yeah. I did see, okay, I'm not gonna try to put out any spoilers, but I did see the food that you guys made together. Can we yeah. talk about that? Yeah. yeah. You mean uh, Mark McGrath? No, no, no. Mark McGrath, with, yes. With oh, with somebody else? Okay, Mark McGrath was the meatballs and right, lasagna, right. which was amazing. Yes. With Sean Stockman. Oh, yeah. Because he represents Philly. That's right. Can we talk about what you guys made? Can we? So, Mama thought we got to do Philly cheesesteaks. As you should. I mean, come on. But here's the classic. He shows up and he says, I don't eat red meat. What? And I went, what in the f*** are you talking about? Wait. We're here to make Philly cheesesteaks. So, he, we, he goes, all right, just for you. I'm gonna taste it. He actually tasted it for me. I know. Wow. And they were very good. They were very good. And he said, these are amazing. They're not Philly, but they're really good. He loved it, of Ooh. course. So yeah. who, who's uh, curating all of the food? Are you picking the food to make with each celebrity guest? Well, we, okay, so it's kind of carefully paired. We sort of make sure they love what we're gonna make. I have the idea. We think of a celebrity, a friend. They're all friends of mine people that I know, and then some I don't, but, and there will be hopefully some actors. I'm hoping to get Melissa McCarthy. Ooh, that'd be funny. Elton John, I mean, these are, Paul McCartney, these are people that are hanging out and talking about our schedules, so we are talking with them. Okay. But I think what I'll probably do is reach out and say, hey, out of these four things, what really rocks your world? And then we would pick one. Because I want to make sure, like, like, you know, I'm not going to feed someone liver if they don't like liver. In fact, what am I Who saying, does? liver? Oh, who does? Why well, don't even set that example? I don't even mean. <laughs> if that. it's caviar, call me. Right. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of how we do it. I think would they like this dish? And then, and not everybody's a great cook, but like Lisa Loeb, she cooks. So we did Mediterranean chicken, Amazing. and it was and it was delicious. And we used gluten free flour, which I'm doing now. Okay. So it was like perfect with her. Um, so I, I figure like family dish. You know, Lisa has a family. We kind of do that. I, was, I know that John Stamos is not Italian, he's Greek, but I, I thought- I was gonna say, I know John Stamos right, is right. on with you. What did you guys make? We made a chicken parmesan. How'd it come out? He loved it, and he threw the noodle on the cabinet. I was like, is it done? He goes, let me see, and he throws it on the cabinet. I mean, it's just, that's the vibe of the show. It's just a blast. That's I, so amazing. I mean, I encourage people to have fun in the kitchen. Who was your favorite so far to, to oh, do a show with? I know it's hard to pick- I can't say that. You have to pick, like, who stood out the most? Like, who made you laugh the most? Everybody's funny. I mean, D. Snyder is pretty freaking funny. D. Snyder. I got, I got news for you. Twisted Sister, I mean, he is funny. 
Um, so we had a little, because we, actually we lived together. We did a show called Gone Country together. Uh -huh. And so I lived with him for like two weeks. So we got to know each other. We were like the mom and the, and the mom and pop of the house. Okay. There was some crazy action going on there. But so when he came on the show, we, we kind of reminisced and made a good time. But I don't know. I mean, John, John is really funny. And Mark is just absolutely fabulous. They're all great. Who was the toughest to have cook with you? Because, you know, sometimes it's like they may not want to be fully involved or they may think they're going to mess up. Who do you think stands out as the, the toughest or the hardest to cook with? There was nothing tough about it. It's like I demand people to relax. If you come on the show, you're going to see us laugh, have fun, and that's we, I have to break the ice. Mm -hmm. That's what I do, you know? So it's like coming to my house, coming to my kitchen <laughs> yep. and cooking and, and loving food. My daughter was nervous. Like Lola is great. She's really super sweet. And so I think she was more nervous than the people that were like, on camera all the time, mm -hmm. but she was still fabulous. Now you make a whole bunch of different types of food, but yeah. what's your all time favorite cuisine to make? Oh God, I love comfort food. So anything with dripping melty cheese, I'm in. The cheese pull? Yeah, for I just want cheese. I, I would melt cheese in a cup and eat it. That's how much I love cheese. Like a cheese soup. I've so done you'd that. probably do a French onion soup. Oh, I had it last night. Oh yeah, yeah, minus yes. the bread. But I love onion soup, yeah. So good. That'd be a good one to do one day on this show. Yes. Onion soup. Minus the bread. Yeah, maybe you can come on and do it. I'm down. Ah! You heard that first. We're going. That's We're good. going in. We're going in. Soup. Now, what is your relationship with food like? Oh, God. Oh, I've, it's complicated. It's complicated. Yeah. I mean, I will always love food. But the difference now, I think, is that I was very sort of, I'm not going to say controlled because that's a pretty intense word. But sugar and uh, bread and gluten, f foods with gluten in it, sort of had a hold on me for a long time. I've never eaten this way, but I've given those those up, and it's made a big difference mentally, physically. Um, I feel stronger. Um, I feel more excited because I know I can make food taste great, and I don't, I'm not deprived. I mean, when I see a croissant, I just, I just I flip it off. Or you, you smell know? it. I smell it, and I go, oh, you f***er, and I go, okay, I can't have you, and I move on, you know. But, um, yeah, I still feel like I can enjoy food. Um, but I will always be emotionally attached to food. Aren't we all, though? Yeah, we are. We are. You but know? I think I, I can just, I don't think I'm ever going to find comfort in a treadmill, but I will find Neither comfort. Will I. Right. Like some people are addicted to that. That's great. Have fun. I, it's a struggle for me. Yeah. But I will always be addicted to food, whether it's a cucumber salad with feta or it's something that I, you know, really want but won't be eating. For some reason, I will always be drawn to food. It's just my. My life. It is. It yeah. is. Now, I know for years you struggled with your weight. Yeah. And I know that women don't always like to talk about weight. Right. You know, they don't want to be looked upon as like, oh. But it's it's been a thing. Now, I know mm -hmm. that you went through gastric bypass. Did. You did um, a lap band. Yep. If you knew about the skinny shots, like the like Ozempic, Wagovi, Manjarno, if that was available back then, would that have been something you would be interested in getting involved with? Or what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, possibly back in the day, yeah. Not now, though. It's not for me, definitely not. I know it's helping people, and I, I, I don't say yes or no. People can do what they want, but it was my choice to not do that. Um, and it's funny because people are like shocked. They don't. It's like they don't believe me. Right. They are like, oh, can you? Can anybody say Ozempic? And I'm like, I didn't. I didn't do that. Right. I didn't take a shot or a pill. Um, I have had inter medical intervention before, but you know, like anybody, it's freaking math. Eat too many calories, your weight goes up. And I could snack all day and, and still and still gain weight. I could eat this way right now, not eating sugar and gluten, and gain weight. I mean, I can eat nuts and cheese all day. I can eat, you know, carbs, and the weight will go up. But it's I do have to have self-control, and I know that it works for some people. I was too afraid of the side effects for me. I just, I didn't want to take a chance. Now, you recently lost 45 pounds. Yeah. Congratulations. 40-ish, 42-ish. 40, 40, 40, somewhere between. 40, 40 yeah. to 45. Yes. In between there. Yes, yes. What was the secret behind that? It was purely diet. I mean, it was, for the first three months, I was pretty strict about stuff. Only eating, like, certain kinds of cheese, like feta and Parmesan. Um, a lot of brown rice, more vegetables, a lot of salads. I love beets. A lot of home cooking, prepping my meals. Um, eating like that. A lot of water and a little walking, 
But that that was it. That was the combo. No desserts, no sugar. I mean, maybe like a couple French fries once in a while with this much ketchup. That's the sugar I would be eating. Wow. But no desserts anymore. No breads oh. for breakfast. Gluten-free bagels, you know, it's not the same. I might have a half and cry a little bit because I miss my chewy bagels. But that's how I did it. Yeah. Have you found the secret to making a dessert that is gluten and sugar free. Yeah. Yeah, I've got these almond cookies that are really good. Mm -hmm. I use these um, stevia sweetened chocolate chips and almond flour and a little maple syrup. Oh, they're good. Yeah, and I get my craving out like that. But I have like a little like a Lara bar at night. It has some brown rice syrup okay. and that's enough. I just have one of those. I eat popcorn. I snack on popcorn. Yeah. It's like that's the stuff that I just, I want to, you know, I just want to do that. And I can do that if I just have like popcorn at night. Mm. I like to sit in bed, watch TV, and have popcorn. I mean, I that's I your guilty do. pleasure. Sorry. That's my guilty <laughs> pleasure. But I don't have like the whole bag or okay. something with tons of butter. I just do like moderation. Home. Moderation. Right. I actually make my daughter Lola makes my popcorn. She makes the best. Ooh. She puts salt and pepper. A little You're a big oil. salt and pepper fan. Yeah, I love. saw that when I was yeah. watching the the show with Mark McGrath. Oh. That yeah. that episode. You're yeah. like you're like salt and pepper brings out the flavor. Yeah, salt does. Oh yeah, even in sweets it does. But yeah, herbs, citrus, I know how to make it taste good. I'm not going to eat food that's bland. Right. No way. I don't care how I'm eating. It has to taste delicious. Now, although you are a chef, because I'm going to call you a chef, because yeah. you do cook your ass yes, off. thank okay. you. What about people out there that don't know how to cook, but yet they also want to try to lose weight? What type of advice can you give them? What can they either order out or do to, you know, obtain yeah. the same yeah. results as you? It takes a lot of discipline to not eat those foods that are just like cal wasted calories. You know what I mean? I mean, I would say just eat, drink water before you have a meal. Um, fiber, like just eat more vegetables, fill up on stuff like that. It's good to eat all day long, little bits. Like bring carrots with some ranch dressing. Snack on that. S sugar snap peas, um, you know, a little hummus. Mm -hmm. um, you know, snack on that kind of stuff. Cucumber with hummus. Uh, I get cravings for crunch. I'll have like a couple of pop chips, like a little handful, a little bit of peanuts or some almonds. That's what I snack on now rather than a scone mm -hmm. or, you know, uh, some baked good. I love baked goods. Oh my gosh, who so, doesn't? I know. That's the new challenge. I have to learn how to do that. But yeah, I mean, tons of water. Yeah. Just, you have, you have to think that healthy can actually taste good. So I throw in like a shit ton of herbs. I love basil. I love cilantro. I love onion. You know, I love tahini seasoning. Um, you know, I just make it taste good. And don't be afraid. And you know what? If, you're, if, if the salt thing's a problem, then don't do that. But don't be afraid of, of some salt. Drink a ton of water and you'll balance it out. That is true. Right? That is true. Yeah. Now, pivoting over, your dad, mm -hmm. how is he doing? He's doing great. Yeah, I just spent Easter with him. And we're going to go to the Dodger game uh -huh. very soon. They, they're setting that up right now. Um, and uh, it's great. He's got a lot of care around him. And... You know, he's he's slowing down a little bit, but he's he's good, he's in good spirits. And it's just great to be together and hold his hand and tell Aww. each other we love each other. And and my daughter, Lola, and my husband and I, we sang his song, In My Room, to him. Aww. He loves watching Lola sing, and he can't wait to watch Sounds Delicious. Oh, my God, he's got access programs. I was going to ask He's ready you, to go. Does he's he ready know to... about the show? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He is tuning in for the premiere. You oh, know, yeah. for, for people that don't know... Um, her dad was on the Beach Boys. Is in the Beach Boys. My goodness. Yes. Yes. My goodness. Brian Wilson. Yeah. Grew up listening to the Beach Boys. Thank Grew you. up listening to you as well. Yeah. Got my God only knows tattoo. Okay. I was. We're gonna get into those tattoos. I know. I, do I have little stories behind those. But I have some stories. Growing up with your dad as part of the Beach Boys, what was your favorite Beach Boys song? Oh God. Probably God only knows. Um, Good vibrations is great. Mm -hmm. I love the warmth of the sun. It's so hard to pick. I have two. What? Kokomo and California Girls. <laughs> oh I love California God. Girls. Oh my God, that's the best intro ever. Yeah, um, Kokomo's great too. I know. It's just so timeless. The music is. is so great. It'll it just is. live forever. I mean, your music as well. Oh, a lot of people you. that may not have grown up with you actually know you from Bridesmaids, the movie. I know. It's like, how old are you? Oh, you're in your 20s? Oh, it's Bridesmaids. You, yeah, you know, right, yeah, right. Yeah. You're in your 40s or 50s? Oh, Wilson Phillips, yeah. I'm like, uh -huh. some day, some Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Once that chorus comes in, you're just like, you have to sing along. I know. It's a I want to sing with you. We have to do I it. I know, it's like. so fun. <laughs> it's just a very inspiring song, and I think people still get a lot out of it. The lyric is really powerful, mm -hmm. and the chorus is great, and the harmonies, of course. They are. But yeah, I mean, 
carrying on the legacy and then my daughter singing with us now. Lola's a great singer. It's, it's just fun. Family affair. I love it. It's a great time in our lives right now. I mean, I get to do my cooking show. I get to sing with my daughter on stage. I, I mean, I'm married to a, <clears throat> a wonderful man. What more could I want? Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. Like, this is great. Well, yeah. we're so excited to be watching the show. Yeah. It's going to be airing on Access TV. Um, That's right. Uh, April 16th, 8.30 yep. mm -hmm. is the premiere. Yep. Access. AXS. AXS TV. Yes, yes. yes. Turn all your televisions on yes. and watch. And now back to those tattoos. Yeah, the tats. Okay. How many tattoos do you have? I think I have 23. Okay. Um, Which ones are your favorites? Obviously oh, all because they're stuck on your body for life. However. Right. Well, God Only Knows. Mm -hmm. And then Kat Von D did this one. It's, it's wow. Lola Lucy, my daughter's names. I have Easy Does It because I got to take it freaking easy, man because I'm a big spaz. <laughs> my mandala for Balance and Peace, Wilson Phillips, my husband, The Warmth of the Sun, my daddy's song, my mom's tattoo. Oh, I love it. I have a dragonfly on my butt, but now it's a, no, it's a butterfly, but now that I've lost weight, now it's a dragonfly. <laughs> it went to a dragonfly. It went from a butterfly to a dragonfly. <laughs> I mean, it shrunk. It's okay. I'd rather be a dragonfly. Listen, Who cares? Listen, let it shrink. You know, it'll turn into a ladybug before you know it. <laughs> it's so good. Then I have some of my, on my back, um, just like best friend symbols, acceptance for my 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 sobriety, my my good luck. Do you want to tell us about that? Just just accepting that I know I'm an alcoholic and I'm in recovery forever, and that I have to accept that that's that's what I was. Those are the cards I was dealt, mm -hmm. and that it's okay, and I can accept who I am, you know, and not be ashamed of it. Absolutely. Just embrace it and just like take like every day is a blessing, you know. Mm -hmm. Wake up, thank you, God, I'm sober today. I can still laugh and, and be happy in life. I don't yeah. have to be drunk. Absolutely. Sometimes I'd like to be drunk. I mean. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, I'm serious. You know, it's like, that could be hard some days. Not you when just, you want to be sick, though, yeah. from it. That's no, the problem. That's my problem. Yeah. It'd be great to take the edge off. But the problem with me is that I, I have 10. I want more and more. It's never enough. Mm -hmm. So I accept that, you know, that's who I am. And my butterflies. Yeah, I just... I like to get tattoos that mean something to me. I got an avocado. Oh, oh my God, what am I saying? Kelly Osborne said to me, is that an avocado? I'm like, no, it's a cheesecake. It does look like an avocado. I know, of course. I know. Yeah. It, it's a cheesecake, actually. It's a key lime cheesecake. Who gets a key lime cheesecake? That's how much I love food. I have, and I have a key a, lime cheesecake I know, of all that. I know, because I make little baby key lime cheesecakes. Are you going to be making those on the show? Could be. Ooh. Maybe, maybe next season.